In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about the Text Expander, one of the key features in FastKeys, from the basics to a more advanced usage. I'll also give you a few bonus tips at the end. The idea of Text Expander is to save you time by using short abbreviation strings instead of typing longer, frequently used phrases. Let's create a new simple example. Make sure the Text Expander module is selected and select the plus button to create a new entry. First, we need to set the command mode here to send, which means fast keys will insert or send text. Let's enter a typical signature, something like this. By the way, there is no size limitation. This could be a sentence, a paragraph, or a whole contract. Then, we need to set the abbreviation string which will trigger the expansion. I'll set it to SIG. I will also set a short description which will help me identify the phrase later. Pressing OK to save and let's see how it works. I'll type the abbreviation and my signature appears instantly. By default, the action is triggered by pressing enter, space keys, full stop, etc. We call them ending characters, but there are other options as well. I'll go back to the phrase and select More Options to reveal additional settings. If I enable Trigger Immediately option, FastKeys will expand the phrase immediately without waiting for ending characters like Enter or Space to trigger it. Case Sensitive option is also interesting. If I enable it, then I need to exactly match the abbreviation string case. In practice, this means that I could have different phrases triggered by lower or uppercase abbreviations. Just to also mention, Manual Confirmation option. This means that I will need to manually confirm the substitution. There are other more rarely used options, and I can always press F1 to get the context help from our documentation. Okay. These were the very basics, but fast keys can do so much more than just sending static phrases. Here, so-called macros come into play. Macros are simply special fields or commands that trigger some useful actions, and they can be inserted anywhere in the phrase. Macros are all available from the toolbar at the top. The most frequently used are user input macros. These macros are perfect for entering dynamic text, like names or amounts or selections, things that could vary every time you use it. I'll add the manual text input macro here, so FastKeys will ask me for a customer name. As you can see, the input macro field was inserted into the phrase as a placeholder for customer name. Then I'll add a selection macro. This is similar, but instead of free text input, it's going to display a list of predefined choices, which I'll be able to select. Let me enter a few alternatives. I'll leave everything else at the defaults. OK, again, the field was inserted. Here we have date and time macros to automatically enter dates or times in any format. I'll quickly select it to add today's date at the bottom. OK, let's save and check this out. Now, after triggering, FastKeys is going to ask me to enter the customer name, select one of the alternative choices, and then expands my phrase. You can also see that the date was automatically added. Here's another feature I want to mention. The abbreviation can actually trigger multiple substitutes, which can be selected from the pop-up window. Look at this example. I use the slash as a delimiter in a new line to divide substitute actions. Now each part is a separate phrase, and you are able to choose one. You see that after typing the abbreviation, I get a pop-up from which I can select one of the suggested phrases. For more ideas like this, please check out the other video called 5 Tips on How to Remember the Phrases from the links below. Let's go through the other macros to see what else is available. 
we can adjust the cursor positioning, insert the data from external sources, or we can insert special instructions to run programs or files, send emails, or change the flow of a phrase. Also, we can simulate various key presses to further automate our flow. Very powerful stuff. All of these are or will be covered in separate videos. I can also select More icon to access some additional settings. Here I can set the text formatting. For example, I could choose rich text format to add colors, different fonts, or images. Still, we recommend using non-formatted text whenever possible as it is the fastest and most universal. And by the way, you can freely customize the icon toolbar, select Customize Menus, and here you can select the icons you want to be shown on the toolbar or rearrange them as you like. Right now, I'm going to explain some more advanced settings. Sometimes you need to restrict the phrase to only be active in specific applications. I can add to the list of the window titles in the Window field here. For example, if I want this phrase to only work in Notepad, I can enter Notepad. This will now work in any window with the Notepad in its name. In some cases, it is difficult to set the window name like this. Let's see Microsoft Word, for example. I can use a FastKeys Window Information tool to get this information. I'll right-click the FastKeys icon tray and select Window Information and select the Word window. This shows me various information about the window. I'll copy this class name and paste it into my window field in FastKeys. FastKeys is extremely configurable, so if you want, you can change many of the default settings. Click on the gear icon to open the Preferences and select Text Expander. Here, you can change some general options, define special characters, or restrict all text expander phrases to work only in specific applications, and so on. Here, you can change the ending characters. Remember, these are the characters that trigger the expansion. I could, for example, disable all and only allow tab to be my triggering key. Another interesting option is display suggestions as you type. This means when I start typing one of the abbreviations, the pop-up with suggestions appears. I can just select one of the phrases and it gets completed for me. And a final tip for today. In some cases, using the identical phrases each time might get boring or non-professional. Do you know that fast keys can automatically slightly change your frequently used phrase on each occasion? Look at this simple example. You can use curly brackets and pipe characters to separate the alternatives. This part of the text will be different each time. Fast keys will randomly select one of the choices. This option is enabled by default, so take advantage of it and use it. While I admit it's almost impossible to cover all the various options in one video, but don't worry. Start with the defaults and you should be fine. That's all for today. Please hit the subscribe button to help us in creating similar videos. It really does help. I'm Milo Shapiro, FastKeys expert and public speaking coach from publicdynamics.com. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next one.